We're running a French drain and roof runoff system together. We're going to bring it out to the front. We're able to gravity drain this. We have a failed PVC system right here. The sun always dries PVC out and it cracks. And you can see right here, it froze and cracked. So this system, this system is completely rendered useless at this point. This is normal for in the north. PVC is a terrible choice. We end up replacing a ton of PVC because of this. The corrugated pipe will expand during a freeze and it doesn't crack. We get a lot of really good service out of corrugated pipe in the north. You're gonna be deep when you go down the side of the house. If you got a backyard that's holding water and you can dra uh, gravity drain it to the backyard, you're gonna get deep. Anytime you have a home and then a garage like this setup right here, you're gonna end up with water trapped between the two structures. The guys did a great, great job running the eight slot. Beautiful, beautiful work. Took it under the sprinkler line right there. Came through here, went under the sidewalk. They're gonna put some more high octane eight slot in these trenches. They're getting all the non-woven geotextile double-punched fabric in place. They've built this up and they're trying to get the water to drain. But it bottlenecks right here. It's just asking too much water. Water gets lost in turf grass. It's really, really hard to get it to flow in turf grass. It's not like a cement driveway where if you pitch it, it's going to flow really nice on the non-permeable surface we got downspouts back here we're going to grab up all that water guys are using their laser level making sure that we have pitch you want everything to have pitch you want to pitch the trenches you just keep pitching them you end up deeper and deeper as you continue to pitch that's what that looks like that's why when you get to the side of the house, by the time you're on the side of the house, you're getting quite deep. Once you get to the front yard, if you got slope out to the street, which is pretty common, then you could bring it to daylight. That's what that means. When we talk about bringing a pipe to daylight, when the slope in the front yard is greater than the slope on the pipe, it's gonna eventually surface. When you have a home here and you have a garage there, you got above ground swimming pool here, this water's trapped, it has no way out. You have to give it a path. It flows through a perforated corrugated pipe better than anything. You can see we have no connections. The guys did a really nice job. They have the eight slot high octane, extra heavy duty. It'll still make turns, you'll be able to flex it. So you minimize the amount of connections, which is great. You want to do that in the north, especially. The freeze and thaw tugs on this stuff. The winter really beats it up. But in the south, you guys get ground settling, sinkholes, things like that as well. So you just want to run a one-piece pipe for as far as you can before you go to a fitting. Put fittings in as needed. That's what I'm basically trying to say. Try to minimize fittings. Design a system that has less fittings and you can just get longer runs out of your pipe. We got two parallel French drains here. We got a third down the fence line. Here's the sidewalk. Got one on each side. Ran a drain under the walk right here because water likes to sit there. Guys did a really nice job. You can see it's nice and deep, beautiful trench. They're going to get a lot of pipe in there. The more pipe, the more air. We want to build a system that moves a lot of air. That way you don't ever have to worry about tree roots or shrub roots. And this is pretty common 
we tear out a lot of PVC in the north. It can't hold up to our winters. And when the ground shifts and when the ground settles, it cracks. And this is what it looks like when you have a freeze up, it just splits it. And then any PVC that's in the sun, this stuff has no UV protection. It's intended to be put indoors and to be ran indoors. So unfortunately, this is the result when you try to use it outdoors. We're gonna build a system that lasts forever. We're gonna use an, a 100% virgin HDPE pipe that's built for the freeze and thaw, the expansion, ground shifting, ground settling. It's gonna withstand everything. You can see how deep the guys had to get. We're gravity draining this. We're not gonna put a sump pump in. We're gravity draining it. We're gonna have a curb hole right here. We're gonna drill. We're gonna do a core through the curb. We're gonna core it. Our system's gonna go under the sidewalk. We're gonna gravity drain it right to the street drain. This is very common in any suburban lot. You end up with a bottlenecking situation where you just struggle to get the water out. If you give it a path, if you have perforated pipe, holes 360 degrees, holes on all sides, you're gonna move a lot of air and a lot of water. You can see there's holes 360 degrees on the bottom, on the sides, on the top, eight slots. This pipe here has more inlet than any other pipe on the market and it has a heavier sidewall than any other pipe on the market. This is the only purpose built for French drains in yards, pipe made, period. We asked the Boffman Tile Company to make us a purpose built pipe for yard drains, both in solid and perforated, and they, uh, they answered the bell. They did a great job. We're really, really happy, really pleased. The reason why we use an inch and a half round rock is it has a lot of voids. You can see all the shadows. You can see all the shadows in the rock. That's void, man. That's gonna move a ton of air and water. Any roots that get in our system during the rainy season, they're just gonna air prune off during the drought season. If it, the system's built with more air, when you have a really small fine stone with a lot of fines in it, it stays damp, it stays wet, and roots really thrive in it. That's been my experience anyway, so I like to move more water, more air with a bigger aggregate. This is an inch and a half round rock. If all you can get in your area is inch and a half crushed, that's fine too. Just try to get it screened. Don't get fines in it. Make sure it doesn't have fines. Beautiful trench. Beautiful trench. The guys, the guys had their story pole here, getting their readings. They're hitting their mark. They got their 1% slope out of this yard. Kind of deep down the side of the house, that's normal. That's the case always when you're trying to get water that's trapped in a backyard out. Everything's bottlenecked. You're trying to get water to come through here. All the yard water, you're asking a lot, especially in turf grass. It's really hard to do. The guys did a great job here. We got a main going right up to the back there. We have a couple parallel lines off of it. One behind the house, one right here next to the garage, and a couple more parallels here, one on each side of the sidewalk, one under the walk here to grab anything that's going to be laying on the walk. That's a trouble spot, and that's the best way to do that when you have grass that's higher on both sides. You got water that collects on the sidewalk. Find the area where it has a dip, and if you're a contractor, this is what you do. You just run the garden hose. Just run a hose on the sidewalk, and it'll show you where the lowest spot is where you should put this balance tube through. This is going to be great. It's going to suck any water off the walkway, prevent that from holding water. Beautiful work by the crew. Really nice. The guys are on lunch. It gives me a chance to walk the job and go through it with you. So the best thing you can do when you're working around trees, right here we have a tree. I got to worry about that tree. I got to make sure that this system is built to where it don't hold no water. The guys did a great job right here. 
This has really nice pitch. Now, they got 2% slope on this heading out this way. They did a really nice job. What that's going to do is it's going to reassure us once we're done moving water after a rain event, you're going to have a perforated pipe and large stone with big aggregate. You're just going to have a bunch of void, a bunch of air, a big, you know, they're going to drop two pipes in the bottom of this, and then they're going to put that inch and a half round rock on it. That is a lot of space. That's a lot of area. That's just air. Trees cannot survive in that. You'll air prune those roots right off, especially during the drought season. There's no way they can survive in, in a French drain that's built to not hold water. Beautiful down the side here. This really nice work by a veteran crew. Well thought out. Well executed. And this is the kind of work they do over and over and over again. Every job they bring it. They're running their laser level. This is going all day. They're constantly making sure they're on their marks. As they're digging, we have a spotter. Valente is usually spotting. He's in the trench. He's getting all the readings to Francisco, who's up in the excavator. Works really, really well. They're a great team. Methodically working their way out of this yard, making sure that the water drains out of this yard and that we're not building a system that becomes a bathtub. If you get this wrong and you put a bunch of pipe and stone, now you just created an area that will just hold water. And that's, that's going to be problematic because the trees and shrubs are going to love that if you're just holding water. you got to make sure that you take this system out to daylight. Now, if we could not get this to gravity drain to daylight, we would put a sump pump in. Normally, we'd put a sump pump about right here, and then we just run the discharge line either down the fence or down the house and dump it and let it just go down the green belt over the sidewalk and to the curb. And that's usually the best way to, you know, you're not able to gravity drain. That's the best way to handle that because they don't like you pumping water into the street. It doesn't go over very well in a lot of different cities. But if you dump it on the front yard and you just let it get absorbed as it works its way to the street curb, I've never had any issues doing it that way. So we do that quite often. This is great. We're going to grab the roof runoff water on a solid pipe and then we're going to have a perforated pipe in here for the french drain we're going to have two systems that we're going to take out and gravity drain to a curb hole out in the street this backyard system is going to have three high octane armor pipe eight slot with the eight slots this pipe will not get any condensation at all now pvc only has holes on the bottom so you build up a lot of condensation on the inside of the pipe, on the top of the pipe. This is a really good growing environment for roots, mold, mildew, bacteria, iron oak. We want this system to dry out quickly, really, really fast, so that we can avoid all of that. Now we're going to show you how we tied in the roof runoff system. We're going to show you how this drop was tied in. Check that manifold out. The guys did a really nice job. They got two Ys. You have the bottom main of the French drain wide in, and then you Y in the roof runoff system to a four inch solid that's going all the way out front underneath the city sidewalk to the street curb. Beautiful job. Textbook. No fittings from that vented clean out all the way to the discharge line. Really nice. You can see how the PVC split. In the winter time, it'll freeze and it can't expand like corrugated pipe. So it'll just crack like this. The PVC pipe was never intended to be in the direct sunlight. Our products, like our vented clean out, has UV protection. PVC does not. If you do a clean out with PVC pipe, if you do a downspout with PVC pipe, it gets really brittle. Okay, so right here is where we cord the street curb. We already have our discharge line in place. I'll tell you what the guys did. They worked their way out of the backyard, down the side of the house. Now they're working their way back up into the yard. This was very methodically done by a professional group of guys that do this 
week in and week out, they tied three downspouts into this discharge line on the side of this house. We used our vented clean out. The vent is going to give you better flow. It's like the vent on a gas can. You don't have to have the screen in if you don't want it. You can just remove the screen and just use it as a clean out, a vented clean out. But we like to use it here in the north as a leaf filter as well. Notice how much rock we have in the street for this job. Now think about all that French drain in the backyard. We have three parallels in one direction. We got a couple more parallels in another direction. We're going to run triple high octane armor pipe eight slot because we get more air. And we get more void with it. We actually create, and there's more PVC going out to the trash. We actually create a better system with more pipe versus more stone. Yes, you need some stone to lock up the pipes, but we like to get two, three, four pipes, depending on the system we're building. Here, we had three pipes in there, and you just tie in the bottom pipes. Don't overcomplicate this. All the water is going to find its way to the bottom pipes. Beautiful manifold right here. The guys did a great job. Well done. Well executed as they work their way back into this yard. If you found any of this information helpful, give us a thumbs up. It supports the channel. And if you have any questions regarding this install, leave them in the comments section. I'm your host, Robert Sherwood. And until the next video.